All right, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and we are back with another free-to-play Mystery Shard only Champion Spotlight. Today we're going to be talking about Dark Aethel. She is one of the login champions that you will get just from playing the game for an extremely long period of time. Uh, yeah, I mean, if three months or four months or whenever you get her is a long time to you. So what does she do? What is she about? What can we use her for? Well, we're going to give her a shot and see what she can do. Uh, let's get into her. So skills. She has an A1 where she attacks one enemy two times, has a 40% chance of placing a 60% decreased debuff, uh, decreased defense debuff. She attacks all enemies, has a 50% chance of placing a 30% decreased speed debuff, which is nice. And she attacks all enemies and has a place 30% increased speed buff on this champion for three turns. If it kills four or more enemies, heals this champion by 50% of their max HP. If this attack kills six and grants an extra turn, if it kills 10, obviously this is supposed to be meant for the spider. However, I don't think I ever use her in spider. I actually only use her as a spider killer in stage 10, which I will show, but that's really the only reason we use her. We do have her in the phantom touch blessing. Masteries, we have her basically built as a average all-round PvE hero. She has the offensive tree all the way down to War Master. She has support. Basically, you just want to pick up, obviously, the 5% chance of decreasing a cooldown. Uh, decrease the target's turn meter, which is very nice. We also have increased the chance of placing debuffs, which is very important. And also has a chance to extend her debuffs, so that makes her a little bit more fun and able to be used. Now... Artifacts, we have her in this set, which basically gives her the speed, what is it, instinct? I forgot what it's called. Um, I can't see it because it's covered by my recording line. I should probably fix that. So speed plus 18, crit damage plus 30% with a 50% chance of getting unkillable, which is very nice. Uh, we do have her in a crit damage glove. We have her in a defensive chest and a speed boot, which is only four stars. So she's not actually built too well. Uh, attacks she has on the ring. Uh, crit damage on her amulet, and she has attack on her banner. Now, here's the thing. I would consider putting an accuracy banner on her, which I do not have right now. Actually, I do have one right here, but I just haven't done it yet. And honestly, that's probably your best bet is to put her in accuracy so she can land her down, her speed downs and all that other stuff. But we don't have her in it right now, so we're not going to do that. So let's just try her out in some stuff. We're going to try her out in the arena, see if she's even any good. Um, I don't really know if there's anybody in here. Let's go in here. Let's reset. See if there's any battles in here that we might be able to win based on what we're doing. If not, then so be it. That's the whole point, right? We want to see how she handles herself. So we're going to go in here. This is a terrible fight, but we're going to try it anyway. All right, we're going to take her out, and we're going to put our girl in right there and try her out. We'll see if she's a good nuker. She's, she's good enough. I don't think she's going to be amazing in here, but who knows? You never know. We'll give it a shot. We'll do this decrease speed which is very nice. She hits pretty hard. I mean, she's not like amazing, but she's good enough to get the job done. We want to be able to kill her. So we're going to do that and then wipe everybody out with the AOE. Really, this is more of a show of Yannicka at this point than it is of <laughs> of uh, of Dark Aethel, but we'll see. We'll see how she runs. So now she can do the extra attack there, which hits pretty hard, to be honest. And then we come in with the hit. Boom, boom. And there you go. So she can be used. I mean, I would just build her more arena-based. Right now, we're not really built for arena. This is a terrible team with a lot of unkillables, so we're not going to mess with it. This team is pretty annoying because we have Siffy. Um, but you know what? Let's try it. I mean, if we lose, we lose. That's the whole point. I have done this before, and I lose a lot in the arena. So more than likely, we will lose this one. If we win this one, I'll be actually pleasantly surprised. Here we go. Let's get some speed down. Actually, their Siffy isn't very tough right here. If we can kill her, then this is going to be a, an easier fight. All right, so we want to take out Mr. Death Knight. Oh, look at that one hit. Now we just got to make sure we kill Siffy, hopefully with this. There we go. And then boom. Look at that. I guess, uh, say Dark Aethel's giving us the uh, the luck shot here. There we go. Who cares here? One and dead. So there you go. She can be used in the arena. She's not terrible in there. She does well. Where else can we use her? Let's see. Let's go into some dungeons and see what we got. Now, in Spider, I use her as my main farmer for stage 10. This is kind of just a dumb thing off the side. You go in here, see? I put her as your lead, and then you just put a bunch of damage dealers in here. I think what we're going to do is we are going to... Yeah, we leave her in here because these are all attack-based heroes, and we hit start. And this team can usually finish this off. I actually might consider switching Kale out for Galek now that I've been using him. 
because he is a little bit more like powerful for just you know taking down stuff quickly and he has the decreased defense which is very nice but so does dark Athel. so actually she kind of takes the place of like a war maiden if you don't get that drop defense which would be nice and she can drop speed but honestly in this fight it doesn't really matter because the spiders are supposed to die in three seconds anyway so who the hell cares right just get them going and we're good to run boom and there you go i mean as long as she doesn't heal real quick oh we might get it we might get it 40 seconds there you go and that's why i use her because she has an attack up um here we go let's edit team she has the attack up by 20 percent in all battles which is very nice just go in here and you just wipe the spider on stage on stage 10 and that gets you a lot of wins especially if you have a spider tournament this is a very quick way to get points and able to get some uh, accessories for your heroes if you're missing out so that's really where i mainly use her um we can use her we'll just show her off in the dungeons for a sec we'll go into stage 20 we'll use her as a main damage dealer we just did this with galek so now we're going to do it with her and now she's going to increase attack which is kind of nice but i don't know if that's going to hurt us or help us because the hp that helps us get through this and not die from these waves might be a little bit more important here i'm not exactly 100 percent sure we're going to find out but the decreased speed is also very nice even though apothecary on their team just made it annoying by increasing their speed but at least now they're not double speed they're kind of half they're basically back to where they were right now she's really good with aoe so if you build her really well with a lot of crit damage i think she would be a very good nuker for this uh possibly in lifesteal using her as more of a campaign farmer-esque hero i think that might be your best bet i would eventually take her out of that skill but as you can see that extra you know not dying skill and getting unkillable for one turn can be helpful sometimes but the best option would really just be to have her in lifesteal so she doesn't die right have her just constantly healing herself making her a little bit more defensive with a lot of crit damage and i think she would be a really good addition to some of these teams so this is going to be a somewhat poor showing of her but it's really just the build that i currently have her in it's nothing special now we could use her in the in the fire knight but our whole thing for fire knight is dropping turn meter so I don't know how much it would really help us to bring her in there because the whole point is to not let the fire knight get a turn now on earlier stages you might actually want to use her in the fire knight because she can take do the extra hit so maybe we'll bring her into like stage 15 just to kind of see where she's at but i definitely wouldn't really be using her past stage 15 if i had to you know really pick something because soul bond and crimson slayer and armager and still pretty much just run the show in there and then having valerie or apothecary as your healer and you can just kind of run it and not worry about it literally it's just like set it and forget it kind of a nice little situation she's not bad i mean if if i were going to say should you build her yeah i mean she's good for, i mean you're going to need her for faction wars probably she's definitely going to help you out there she's definitely going to help you out in spider there are some comps where you can use her in higher end spider but she's really not as good as a lot of other spider heroes that can just do a lot of turn meter reduction same thing with the fire knight it's like she's meant for it it's almost like lord she's almost like the lord legionary um she was meant to be she was meant to be for spider and lord legionary was really meant to be fire for fire knight but the problem is that lord legionary doesn't put heal reductions up so you would have to bring somebody who can do heal reductions for him to be even remotely useful and you're basically wasting an extra slot to bring him along for a hero that could for another hero that could probably just do everything he does and better so that's kind of how i feel about dark athel dark elhane dark which one is she athel dark athel i always get him confused so that's kind of how i feel about her she's not terrible she's just not like she's nowhere near as bad as lord legionary but she's definitely not as good as a lot of the other nukers but i also haven't built her to be an, an amazing nuker yet so i feel like if we build her a little bit better and put her in lifesteal i think she might be better suited she's basically a starting champion as far as i'm concerned she just happens to have a little bit of extra kind of oomph to her with the decreased speeds she could be useful if you give her a little bit more defense for hydra there's things in there that she can definitely do that'll help you out so there are things you can do with her just in the current iteration of how she is and how she's set up i don't think she would really play too well in those fights i do use her in there because i just you have to use 18 heroes and she's just one of the better ones for it right now for me but yeah i would definitely say there's some better options for building her
especially if you want to use her as basically just a debuffer, that could work too. You could just build her insanely defensive and just have her with a lot of accuracy, and she'll just constantly be doing her debuffs, and you're good. Make her make her a full debuffer, and that could be what she, that's could be her job, and she won't die, and she'll just keep debuffing everybody. Now the question is, is how much damage can she output in fights like this? Because she does have the extra hit there. So far, it doesn't seem to be anything crazy. Our best time in here was under four minutes. And the one we just did with Galek was, I think, five minutes and something. So this one looks like it might go a little bit longer just because she's not as she's not as debuff, I mean, as um, powerful as the other ones. Unless we get a ton of smite like that, in which case our, you know, our time will be much better. Really, this is going to be more of a showcase of the hero and what she does, not really a, you know, here's where she's useful, because she's just she's just useful wherever you need her. She's useful in Faction Wars, because you have to use Dark um, Undead, so she's useful there. She's useful in, I mean, basically just as a damage dealer. That's it. She's just another damage dealer that can get you through waves, and she has two AoEs, which is very nice, rather than having just one, but if you put her in a kind of like I said, like a campaign farmer setup, she'd be able to cycle through her AoEs a little bit quicker, and I think she would be a lot more useful for clearing waves, but you would really have to build her attack up and get her in lifesteal. This will be one of my shorter champion spotlight videos because she's just, she, there's there's really, it's really just showing her off at this point. It's not like there's anything that's like, oh my god, Dark, dark Aethel, you're so good. But yeah, I mean, it seems like she's not really getting off a lot of debuffs on this boss. This boss is a little bit weird, though. He likes to not get debuffed. The poison seemed to be the best option for the dragon. She doesn't really do any of that. So, I mean, it is what it is. There we go. Get those debuffs out of there. Nice little, nice little seven, eight minute run on this. It's going to be horrible. We'll show her off a little bit in maybe some Doom Tower or throw her in a boss fight, see what she can do, and then we'll go from there. But it is she is very useful for Spider. I mean, I have I have to kind of admit that, like for stage 10, even though it's an easy fight, it's it's not like you really need her. She just makes it a lot quicker and more fun. You're like, oh yeah, I can whoop the spider's ass on stage 10 in like 40 seconds and everything's good. So yeah, this is definitely not optimal for Dragon, obviously. There's way better heroes. Poisoners are obviously the best for this. But, I mean, if you're in a pinch and you don't have anyone else and you kind of need somebody to get through it, yeah, just build her and I think you could... She could do some good damage, I think, if she was actually built correctly. She's not too strong right now. Actually, I didn't show her stats. I'll do that at the end. I probably should have done that so you could see her full stats. But she is getting her butt handed to her, which is also not good. I have a feeling she'll be the first one to ever have to get really revived in here. Oh, actually, no, she got healed. Let's let's see. If you if you're looking for ten minute dragon fights, <laughs> then yeah, I can't I can't crap on her too much though. She's she's just not built as well as my Galek or my Kale to be honest. They're just built a lot better and can do a ton of damage in here. Uh oh. This is it. We're at the final fight. We might get one shot here. Because we're we're taking too long. So this might be a problem. As long as Syl survives and then that smite goes off, we'll still win. We got defense, right? No, we got so yeah, we got some debuff blockings. Alright, we survived. Can we keep moving? Is the question. Be nice if we got that little shield up too, you know, from Miss Valerie. There we go. Got some hits. All right, so we've got a ton of stuff. Smite went off, and then boom, we've got it. Look at that, Spirit Host for the win. And there you go. She put up one point six. I think yeah, that's about in the average, but it just took a lot longer. Um, still, actually, ended up putting up more, a lot more damage than she should have normally because the fight took too long. So there you go. She's not that great. We did this with with a lot of other damage dealers, and they've done much better. I mean, I think I've done it with, we did this with, uh, 
like uh, Frozen Banshee and things like that, and it ended up working out a lot better. So let's get out of here. Let's go to the map. Um, really, I don't think I would use her. I mean, we'll run 15 just for fun, just to see what it's what it's about. Here we go. We'll take out. We will take out Grave Chill and bring her in, and we'll do attack to see if that helps us in any way. Start. So this is stage 15. I do I do this fight with poisons and stuff just to make sure because I don't really need much. It was just kind of like a secondary option for how to beat Fire Knight. But she does have some extra hits on her A1, which is good. She does have decreased speed, which can help, but we have Syl in here for that, so it's not super necessary. Really, the turn meter drop would be more useful here if you're going to go with a turn meter team. This is just a poison team that I use on stage 15. Which is actually kind of fun, I'm not going to lie. Poisoning the Fire Knight to death is one of my most, you know, exciting things. I just like that I don't have to use heal reduction and a whole bunch of other weird things to, to win. But let's see if she can if she can work her way into stage 15. That's really what it's about. Is can she do it on 15 and help you out early, early game? Because you do get her pretty quickly into the game. I mean, Frozen Banshee is really going to do more here. See, she's got the extra hits there. She can drop defense, so that's nice. That's something we didn't have before, so it would be nice to have that. So that might actually make this fight a lot quicker with the drop defense and drop speed, see? So it didn't really, it didn't, it doesn't seem to be affecting us too much. Granted, we are, you know, doing stage 20 and above now. We're trying to work our way through 21. But, yeah, I mean, that drop defense is definitely helpful. The poisons will do more damage. He'll die a little bit quicker, Get the, especially, there you go, decrease speeding. Boom, look at all those poisons. This is actually, I think, better speed than having Grave Chill in here, to be honest. There you go. Look how easy that was. Nice. So actually, it wasn't that bad. You could use her in, in Fire Knight. She might be one of the heroes that you could use if you don't have enough turn meter reduction heroes. So there you go. We'll get her out of there. And then we'll just show her in one little, clan, in one little Doom Tower fight. fight. A Doom Tower fought. Here, we'll just show her in here. We'll take Kale out and we'll put our girl in with the attack lead just to see how it goes. And then we'll be good to go. Let's see if they if she can handle. There you go. She's got a lot of... She's actually faster than my other heroes, so that's not good. Right now, I would need to build up my speed on the other teams, on the other heroes, in order to make her work in this because she's going to just hit without the attack up, which would suck. I mean, granted, there's no attack up, actually, so there's defense down. That's what we want. See? Boom. Let's see if we can kill this little guy now really quick. This is the easiest version. I don't have the high ones open right now. So otherwise, I would showcase her in there, and it would be kind of cool. So, But unfortunately, we don't. And there you go. Everybody's happy. Dark Aethel, Dark Elhane. And she put up 196. So she actually was the highest damage, even though she didn't really get a chance to attack. But she was the highest damage, so you can use her in there. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so let's go back in here. We'll show her stats real quick. Total stats. Here we go. I didn't show them before. 29,000 HP. She's got 3690 attack. She's got 2400 defense. 205 speed, so she's actually a lot faster than some of my other heroes, which is not good for me right now. I would actually lower her, her speed if I was going to use her more, because then she can get her attacks off after the, the attack up um, and defense down. Really, it's just Spirit Host that's faster, so War Maiden is really the one that would need to be faster. Uh, crit rate's 265. Not too great. We should probably get that up. Crit damage is insane at 215. Probably one of my highest heroes, and once again, her accuracy and resistance are actually terrible, so I would definitely get her accuracy up and put an accuracy banner on her if you're going to use her so she can land her debuffs. All right, so that's basically it. That's Dark Aethel. I mean, she's not. there's not much to her, honestly. You definitely have some places you could use her um, if you built her a little bit better than mine is. So if you guys have any places that you use her, feel free to leave a comment, you know, tell everybody else how you use her and what builds you use. I kind of want to get people into the habit of commenting, not just, you know, oh, this is a great video and all that stuff. I'd like you guys to kind of start being like, hey, you know, this is how I use her. This is, uh, you know, this is the set I use in her and she uses, and she does really well in this dungeon, things like that. That way people can kind of get secondary opinions because I'm doing this kind of, kind of blind as much as possible. Like I, I try to stay away from dungeon guides as much as I can. I do look them up when I'm having trouble and I'll try to make a team that works. But from this point where we're at now, I'm kind of, kind of happy just kind of figuring it out myself. So that's why we're building these guys the way we are. All right. So once again, Feel free to like and subscribe, share this. That's how we grow the channel. I'll be very excited if you guys do that. You know, 
tell a friend. If ever if, if every subscriber told a friend and they subscribed, I'd have twice as many subscribers. I know it's like crazy math, right? <laughs> so once again, this is Dark Aethel. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd. And you guys, take care.